Hey guys, Repairman here to repair your bills, and today we're going to go over the Zenistarth, the amazingly powerful 300 login day reward melee weapon. And so we first found out about this without knowing any details, like, oh dang, it's just another melee weapon. Man, I was really looking forward to having that prime vigor for a couple of my survivability warframes and stuff, you know, Anaros and others. And then I actually use the thing. This thing is a beast, not only for PvE, but for PvP as well. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Alright, so this thing is going to take the whopping 3 forma for melee weapons. A little on the steep side, but well worth it. Especially if you got those prime mods you reach to get to this. Hopefully you didn't sell off stuff when you... Uh, when they had that opportunity, because now, of course, it's locked down where you can't trade stuff like Prime Fury, but hopefully you didn't do that. So, we've got a couple of status mods to crank that status up. You have a better than 50-50 odds of proccing those abilities. State, gas and Magnetic takes out the Corpus very well. And now, for Configuration C, let's go with corrosive and blast damage. Corrosive cuts down the armor of the Grenier, does substantial damage to both Grenier and Infested, the Ancient Healers, the Moas, as you guys know, but also for that CC, it got blast damage on there. So even if it doesn't kill them, it knocks them down, sends them flying. Good fun. It's great, powerful, strong. And we got a good number of status mods on there, double, double stats on there. So we got 70% status on this thing, so it procs a good amount. Now, not only for Grenier, but also for when you're in the dojo, radiation toxic. So, Grenier, have health, no shields, radiation, you get a damage bonus, toxic goes straight in, hurts their health. Main reason I go with radiation instead of viral is because it also then is easy to just switch over to this when you're going to the dojo. You throw that radiation on toxic before the match counter times down. You hold it down, throw out the Zenistar, swap out to your other weapons like say Ignis, which is crazy overpowered in the dojo as well. And you're gonna toast them up. And if they touch the ground, they're getting damaged constantly. They're no choice but stay up in the air to take to get away from all that damage this thing is crazy so definitely make sure even if you're taking a break from warframe pop in once a day just get in that login reward so you can get up to that 300 days because this thing is a powerhouse both in and out of the dojo great for defense missions excavations you just toss that out it deals without anything inbound does some serious numbers. Well, until next time, you guys keep those formas cooking.